Hello, my name is Agelos Katharopoulos. I am from Media Pen EPFL, and today I will present a joint work with Apur Vias, Nikos Papas, and my advisor Francois Flere on reducing the time and memory complexities of autoregressive transformers. You can find code and examples in our project webpage shown in the slides. Transformers were initially designed for natural language processing tasks, and indeed they have been proven successful on complicated tasks such as question answering and textual entailment. More recently, they have been employed on other sequence modeling tasks such as speech processing, animal generation, and even on tradition, traditional computer vision tasks such as object detection. Despite their success, transformers are notoriously difficult to scale to long sequences. Their core mechanism, namely self-attention, has quadratic complexity both in terms of memory and computation. For example, in these plots, we see that for a single self-attention layer and about size of one, we need more than two gigabytes of GPU memory and more than 60 milliseconds when the sequence is 4,000 elements long. In this work, we propose a transformer variation that has linear memory and computational complexity during training. This allows us to train efficiently on sequences tens of thousands of elements long, whereas softmax transformers would not fit in a GPU even with a bad size of one. Moreover, we extend our initial derivation to the autoregressive case and we create a model that has linear computational complexity and, more importantly, constant memory during autoregressive inference. This opens up the possibility for using transformers in resource constrained devices or generating sequences with millions of elements. Finally, we unravel the relationship between transformers and RNNs, which allows us to express any transformer as a particular order invariant recurrent neural network. This opens up many future research directions to better understand both transformers and RNNs. Before introducing our linear transformer, let's quickly revisit the standard transformer and self-attention. The simplest transformer model consists of the composition of L structurally identical transformer layers. Those layers take as input a sequence of features, here denoted as X, and produce as output another feature sequence of the same length. Basically, we have an one output feature for every input feature. Those transformer layers, in turn, consist of an attention function and a transformation function. The attention, marked with red, is the only component that acts on the entire input sequence. Instead, the transformation function, marked with green, acts on each element of the sequence separately and is usually implemented with a two-layer MLP. As we have already mentioned, the main bottleneck of the transformer architecture is the attention function. Let's first discuss how the attention is implemented, and then it will become apparent where the bottleneck comes from. Initially, the input is projected to queries, keys, and values that are commonly denoted with Q, K, and V. The ith output of the attention function is the weighted average of all the values as weighed by the normalized similarity of the ith query with each of the keys. The similarity measure commonly used is the exponential of the dot product. As a result, Computing the output requires multiplying every query with all the keys, resulting in the quadratic complexity of the attention computation. To address this computational complexity, firstly, we consider a more general attention that uses an arbitrary positive similarity score instead of the exponential of dot products. This score, with some loss of generality, can be written as a kernel with a feature representation phi. This abstracts away the application of the softmax function and we end up with an attention computation consisting only of dot products. Subsequently, using the associativity property of matrix multiplication, we can change the order of computation such that we don't multiply the queries with the keys first, but instead the keys with the values, as highlighted with red. This means that we never explicitly compute the attention matrix and we reduce the complexity with respect to the sequence length to linear, both in terms of memory and computation. Let's now see how this analysis can be extended to autoregressive transformers. Autoregressive transformers are typically implemented by masking the attention matrix such that each element can only attend to previous elements in the sequence. Arbitrary masking is not feasible in our formulation since the attention matrix is never explicitly computed. However, if we take a closer look at the mathematical formulation of autoregressive and non-autoregressive transformers, we can easily see that the only difference is up to which value we perform the weighted averaging, namely the full sequence length n for the non-autoregressive transformer versus the current element i for the autoregressive one. Using our kernelization and associativity property trick, we can express the attention computation as shown in the slide. 
Note that for the autoregressive case, it is not possible to simply multiply the keys with the values first and then with the queries. The reason is that each query is multiplied with a different key value matrix and normalizer, denoted here as SI and ZI. Naively computing SI and ZI for each query would make the algorithmic complexity again quadratic with respect to the sequence length. However, both SI and ZI can be computed as cumulative sums, namely with constant time given the previous values. This allows us to recover the linear complexity for the autoregressive case. Using uh, the previous autoregressive formulation, we can now express the transformer layer as a recurrent neural network. The state for our transformer RNN is simply the SI and ZI that we need to perform the attention computation. Computing SI plus 1 and ZI plus 1, given the previous state, requires a constant amount of time irrespective of the, of the position in the sequence, as it is simply the product of the new key and value added to the previous state. Moreover, the state of our RNN has fixed dimensions, which means that we can perform autoregressive inference with linear complexity and constant memory. So far, we have presented our linear transformer, as well as our transformer RNN for autoregressive inference. However, we have not discussed the choice of kernel and its implications. In our theoretical analysis, we do not make any assumption for the kernel. This means that it holds for all transformer with kernelizable attention, even softmax attention. For instance, autoregressive transformers with uh, softmax attention are also RNNs, just with an infinite dimensional state. Nevertheless, our for our formulation to be usable in practice, we need finite dimensional feature maps. For all our experiments, we use a simple positive activation function, such as rectified linear units or uh, exponential linear units plus one. Finally, implementing our autoregressive formulation in a deep learning framework is not straightforward. This is due to the computation of the gradients for the cumulative sum, requiring all the intermediate values to be kept in memory. Instead, we derive the gradients as cumulative sums and implement a custom CUDA kernel, which allows us to train significantly faster. Moving on to our experiments, we compare our model with a full transformer, as implemented in PyTorch, and with Reformer, which is a recent fast transformer that uses locality-sensitive hashing to reduce the complexity of the attention computation. First, we validate the linear complexity of our model on an artificial benchmark, and then we assess its performance on autoregressive image generation, where we show that we are able to get huge speedups during inference. Finally, we also evaluate our non-autoregressive formulation by training transformers to perform automatic speech recognition on the Wall Street Journal dataset. For the benchmark, we measure the time and memory that each attention layer requires to perform a single forward-backward pass for sequence lengths ranging from 512 to 65,000 elements long. For all methods, we use the non-autoregressive formulation and the maximum batch size that fits in our GPU. We observe that both reformer and our model scale linearly with respect to the sequence length, in contrast to the quadratic scaling of softmax transformers. Finally, we observe that our model is faster and requires less memory than reformer, even when reformer is used with just a single hashing round. And this is true for every sequence length. To evaluate our autoregressive formulation, we train transformer models for autoregressive image generation on MNIST and CIFAR-10. For all transformer variants, we use the same network architecture, with the only difference being the computation of the attention function. For MNIST, we train all models for 250 epochs, while for CIFAR-10, we limit our computational resources to one week of GPU time. On the left side, we visualize unconditional samples generated by training on MNIST. We observe that our linear transformer and softmax transformer exhibit very similar behavior and generate high quality samples. Reformer yields images less similar to softmax transformer. This is also validated quantitatively by the achieved bits per dimension, which are significantly higher for reformer. On the other hand, on CIFAR-10, where the resources are limited and the number of training iterations is proportional to the method speed, a reformer with one hashing route and our method achieves similar bits per dimension and performs slightly better than softmax. After presenting the performance achieved by the methods in terms of image generation quality, let's now turn our attention towards the efficiency as measured by the image generation throughput achieved by its method. 
we can observe that due to the reduced complexity and significantly reduced memory requirements, our transformer RNN achieves a throughput up to three orders of magnitude higher than the original transformers. We also observe that as the sequence length increases, the advantage increases as well. Note that as our method has constant memory requirements, it allows us to fit significantly more images on a single GPU, which contributes to the high throughput. Finally, to evaluate the performance of our formulation for the non autoregressive case, we also train transformers to perform automatic speech recognition on the Wall Street Journal dataset. In this task, given a sequence of acoustic features, we predict a sequence of subword units called phonemes. Traditionally, this task is solved with a bidirectional LSTM, thus we also compare with such baseline. We visualize the error rate relative to the softmax transformer on the left side and the speed up on the right side. We observe that all methods achieve a higher error rate than softmax transformer. However, our method performs significantly better in comparison to both reformer and the bidirectional LSTM baseline. On the other hand, in terms of time per epoch, all methods perform significantly better than softmax transformer. In particular, our linear transformer is more than three times faster per epoch, even though the average input sequence length is only 800 features. Furthermore, we observe that our linear transformer is both faster and achieves a lower error rate in comparison to the commonly used LSTM baseline. Let us now recap the main contributions and takeaway messages of our work. Firstly, express expressing the attention using kernel feature maps and taking advantage of the associativity property of matrix products to compute a key value matrix instead of a query key matrix yields an attention layer with linear complexities with respect to the sequence length. Furthermore, computing this key value matrix as a cumulative sum allows us to formulate our efficient attention for the autoregressive case without the need to explicitly mask the attention matrix. Finally, Formulating the autoregressive inference of transformers as a recurrent neural network allows us to perform inference many times faster and with a constant memory requirement. If you want to experiment with linear attention, transformer RNNs, or other efficient transformers, check out our easy-to-use PyTorch library with efficient CUDA kernels. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention.